this ANN News Brief. Ghana's health authorities say 70 health workers in the central region who were said to be asymptomatic have tested positive for coronavirus. The country has confirmed more than 8,000 cases, 38 deaths and more than 3,000 recoveries. Ghana's central region has recorded more than 400 cases, 70 of whom are health workers. President Nana Kufoado has eased restrictions on religious gatherings and has opened schools for final year students despite a rise in cases. Ghana's borders are still closed. As South Africa recalls Africa's highest coronavirus cases in number, the country's top vaccine expert, Professor Shabir Madhi, says hospitals could be overwhelmed within a matter of weeks. Cape Town hospitals are said to be already near capacity, with infection rates rising sharply across the country's south. Doctors in Cape Town are warning that many hospitals will soon be struggling to cope. Professor Madhi warns the struggling Eastern Cape province could well give clues as to how the pandemic will affect the rest of the continent. South Africa has so far recorded nearly 41,000 coronavirus cases and 848 deaths. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Burundi's Constitutional Court has upheld the victory of the ruling party's presidential candidate Everest Ndayishime. Opposition leader Agatan Rasa, who was runner-up in the last month's election, is challenging the outcome of the poll in court. He filed the case last month. Rasa says he has evidence that people had voted using dead voters' identities. He made accusations of ballot box stuffing and the use of an electoral register that has never been published by the electoral body. The Constitutional Court ruled on Thursday that the elections were flawless and dismissed the com complaint. Burundi's election commission said Ndaishimiye had won the election with 69% of votes cast. Incumbent President Perrin Kurusiza was still in office until August when President-elect will take over and start a seven-year term. That is the NN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at TV. I'm Lucy Ademi.